Now at 530, a woman robbed at gunpoint on the Beltline. The shocking part, the accused criminals are children, 11 and 12 years old. They are now in juvenile jail. It's just so hard to, to understand this, wrap your head around it. CBS 46's Haley Mason joins us now with reaction from people who use that popular trail sometimes every day. Haley, again, just um, stunning. Stunning, Sharon. Even some Atlanta police detectives are stunned at the ages of these suspects. They say that more than 2 million people walk the Atlanta Beltline each year, and they just don't see many felonies, especially not one like this one that happened on the west end portion of the Atlanta Beltline, where one woman says she was robbed by 11 and 12 year old boys. People walking this fairly quiet portion of the Atlanta Beltline in the West End tell us they're alarmed to find out a woman was robbed here at gunpoint Sunday evening. It's definitely news to me. I only come out early and sometimes it's earlier this earlier than this, like in the mornings. Even more shocked to learn the suspects are 11 and 12 year old boys. It's devastating, you know, when they start committing crimes at such an early age. I mean, it's always hard to hear. And the crime rates do up in summer, but it's just still surprising that they're, they're children robbing adults at, yeah, at gunpoint. The walker told police the group of three boys approached her and asked to use her cell phone around 8 o'clock on Easter night. When she told them no, she says the 12 year old showed a gun in his waistline and demanded her phone and earbuds. Police tell us the incident was captured on their Beltline surveillance cameras. That helped them identify the group. Officers who had had prior interaction with these with these juveniles um, were actually able to make an identification from their previous history with them. The boys were found in a home in the West End. Two were arrested and taken to the Metro Regional Youth Detention Center. It's horrible to hear. I mean, on the East Side Trail, where I spent a lot more time, there's a huge police presence, so it's a something safe. Crowded. Yeah, so safety's been not non issue for me, but obviously it's very sparse right here, right now, so. I can see where that could be an issue. Police are telling walkers to be aware of their surroundings and even spot out local businesses to go to if in need. The Beltline, you know, is a safe space and we want it to continue to be that way. We want people to feel safe going to the Beltline and, and we very actively patrol. Now, right now, there are no security call boxes on the Beltline trails, uh, but there is a spe special Belt Force task force that patrols, that's officers patrolling on bikes. Now, police tell me this third boy, who was also 12 years old, he was not arrested because they don't believe right now that he was actually present for the robbery. The other two, 11 and 12 years old, they're in juvenile detention, charged with um, armed robbery, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm, and another possession charge, also felonies. Reporting live on the Beltline in West End, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.